of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8. If you have the Bible, you can look at our screen. The word of the Lord says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. I will bring to you a simple topic this afternoon entitled, Truth Matters. Truth Matters. Shall we bow down our head one more time and let us ask the blessing of the Lord that this message, praise God, will reach to your spirit, that will reach to your heart and mind. Hallelujah. Allow the Spirit of God to minister. Hallelujah. Because if our life is not yet in the truth, Hallelujah. Praise God. You cannot fight against the truth, but the truth will set you free. Lord Jesus, you are the truth this afternoon, oh God. Hallelujah. Bless my lips to speak, O oh God, the truth, the word of truth. I pray, O oh God, that you will guide my spiritual senses, O oh God, all my senses, O oh God, to speak it with boldness and with love. Lord God, bless your people with understanding that every one of us may respond appropriately, hallelujah, to your word. Praise God, to live in truth, O oh Lord, hallelujah, praise God, in our daily conversation. Thank you so much, Lord, cover this place with your presence. Let your holy angels, O oh God, hallelujah, will watch over us. Hallelujah, and rebuke, Lord, all every foul spirits that will try to hinder. Hallelujah, and stop your purpose. Let thy purpose be done. Lives will be changed. Everyone will walk in the truth, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody shout Amen. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Turn to your neighbor and her and him. Love the truth. Mahalin po natin ang katotohanan. You may not take your seats, praise God. And may the Lord will bless us all. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My preaching today, I don't know if this is short or long. Praise God. But just give me freedom, praise God, hallelujah, to express everything that the Lord has laid in my heart. Praise God. So that each and every one of us may walk in the truth. Amen. There are many reasons to revere truth. Along with beauty and goodness, it is one of the great ideas we judge by. It is universally regarded as a virtue. It is something on this planet at least that only humans discern. It is necessary to make good decisions about living our lives and it allows us to predict the future and avoid future dangers but there's more than that yeah. with professor harry frankfurt teaching ethics 30 years ago this is what he said i learned that truth telling is one of the only moral imperatives across cultures Truth-telling is one of the only moral imperatives across every culture. Amen. We don't want to hear a lie. Yes. Everybody shout amen. amen. Why would that be? Simply put, human communications is pointless unless we assume that others will tell the truth. Amen. If I am a tourist here in Hong Kong and I will ask people from New Life Fellowship, yes. where is the tram going to Central and you will not tell me the truth, that communication is pointless. Yes. Yes. And they will tell you, okay, just ride this tram. It will go to Central and then I ended up in Kennedy Town. <laughs> that is why when men before have courted you, I love you. You are the most beautiful woman. And then you ask, is that the truth? Because it's dangerous, praise God, to assume that statement if it is not the truth. Everybody shout amen. 
So it's pointless unless we assume that others will tell the truth. If I ask you what time it is, will you tell me the truth? If I ask you, praise God, for a direction, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you would not lie to me. Praise God. So when your husband will ask you how much is your salary, I assume that you will tell the truth. Don't talk to me. When your husband in the Philippines will ask you, where are you now? He said, I'm in the church. I did not hear people singing. Hallelujah. So I assume that if I will ask you what time it is, I will ask you direction. Hallelujah. You won't lie to me. If I assume the opposite, just for example, if I assume the opposite, there's not much point in asking those questions. What's the point in asking a question if that was not the truth? Everybody shall amen. amen. Honest exchange. In the essence of communication, all the rest is just ignorance or manipulation. Kaya hindi ba mga kapatid, pag sinabing nila ng girlfriend mo, isa lang, pero siyam pala sila. He or she is a master of manipulating. Another problem with lies is this. Another problem with lies, ignorance, praise God, and nonsense. In which, in a colloquial term, they call it, forgive me, is speaking this with the word we always heard, bullshit. Do you know what word is that? That's a nonsense. Stupid. Praise God. And Westerners, uh, praise God, those English speaking people and others, uh, especially if they are not careful with their mouth, they are speaking this vulgar language. Praise God. They are speaking with lies, is that they undermine. Our rationality leaves us slaves to our passions and keep us groping in the dark when we try to solve problems. You cannot solve problems if the input is all in lie. Hindi po masolve ang problema kung puro kasinungalingan ang input. Don't expect that it would resolve. Praise God. Hallelujah. To a solution. Problems are hard to solve when you start with truth. That's true. Problems is hard to solve when you start to truth because truth is hurt, it's hurting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's much more worse, praise God, to solve a problem when it begins with yeah. falsehoods. Yeah. When you go back to the Philippines, we just realize na may kasama na pala siyang iba. <laughs> Masakit. Pero yun ang katotohanan. Masakit. Ikaw na nanabaho dito. Tapos pag-uwi mo mga kapatid, dalawa na kayo. Masakit. But if that is the truth, you can solve immediately the problem. It's hard. It's difficult. It's hurting. Yes. But it's more worse to solve a problem when it begins with falsehood. Wala man yan. Katulong kung man yan. Pagbalik mo mga kapatid. Tumulong nga. Tumulong na tumain sa mga kadala mo. Everybody shall amen. Lies and nonsense will ultimately be our downfall. However, it's temporarily attractive. They may be why lie is temporarily attractive? Why? Now, if we disregard the truth, we will undo the project. This is what the Frankfurt Harry told in his uh, thesis. If we will disregard the truth, we will undo the project of classical enlightenment. When humans realize that reason could improve their world. Some people think that if they lie, it improved their environment. That's right. Praise God. When their employer will ask them, where did you go today? In the market, ma'am. Pero worldwide pa na. Pero nakatulong 
pasto, nakarimit ako, pero pasto, pero nagsinungaling ako, basta lang makarimit. They thought that through lying, they could improve it, their environment. Now, if we disregard the truth, we will remain slaves to the reptilian impulses of our anciently formed brain. If we disregard the truth, we will destroy our planet's atmosphere and biosphere and kill ourselves. This is what he said. Everybody say amen. amen. People suffer when the truth is distorted. Look at nations that will shout, death to Israel, death to Israel. Why these people, praise God, have this mindset? Because truth was being distorted. There was misinformation being yes, spread. That's right. Everybody shall amen. amen. Hallelujah. So people will suffer when the truth is distorted. So this afternoon, this is just an introductory part. It is our choice to tell the truth or to tell a lie. To live in the truth or to live in a lie. Face the truth. Praise God. Who is the truth, Pastor Plaza? The Bible tells us, Jesus said, I am the truth. In the Bible, when truth is personified, it's Jesus Christ. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 21, the truth is in Jesus. Amen. So it so be, look at the screen. It so be that he had heard him and had been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. You cannot find truth outside of him. The truth is in Jesus. When you have Jesus in your heart, when your employer will ask you something, praise God, since Jesus is in your heart, you can always say the truth. Yes. And you are not fearful to say and to speak the truth. Because truth will stand. Truth is very liberating. When you live in the truth, you can sleep at night soundly. Yes. When you live in the truth, you can eat, praise God, peacefully and you can taste your food. Praise God and enjoy it. Yes, yes. Pero kung ang pagkain na yan, ninakaw mo sa refrigerator ni Amo, hindi ka But why it is so hard to understand the truth? Is it difficult to understand the Lord Jesus Christ when He is the revealed, praise God, hallelujah, image of our God? In Romans chapter 1, verse 18, Apostle Paul mentioned these words, when people in this world try to change the truth. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. What do you mean by that? That verse, praise God, is pointing and speaking to us all here in the church who claim to be a Christian, who claim to serve in God, who claim to be baptized in Jesus' name, who claim to have the Holy Spirit, yet my commit. Who claim to be baptized in Jesus' name, who claim to worship God, who claimed, praise God, to be a, a pious person, and yet he is telling a lie. That is why Apostle Paul said, these men who hold the truth, they will really hold the truth. Yes. But they hold it, what? In what manner? In unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. So if you are married, put it in your ikbi. If you have ikbi, married. Amen. <laughs> Do not put in a relationship. Pero hindi pa kayong tinasal niya na ako. Hindi ba naman complicated? Hold the truth in righteousness. But why it is difficult sometimes to tell the truth? Why it is difficult to live in the truth? Because 
Jesus, the very presence of God, is not yet, praise God, resided in your heart. Yes. Yes. When you surrender your life to God, hallelujah, and you allow Him to live in your heart, praise God, you have nothing to worry. The world is meeting you. The world is looking at you as an open level. Wala kang tinatako. Your life is a public testimony. There are so many accounts in it be private. Why? They don't want anybody to see. <laughs> Praise God. That is why when you have an account that is public in social media, you are very careful what you are going to post, what you are going to say, what you are going to comment. Why? It's public. Yeah. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 25 to 32. Let me read to you the writings of Apostle Paul. These people try to change the truth of God. Yeah. But you cannot change the truth. Yes. Yes. If you are a woman, no scientific experiment can change you into a man. Yes. 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 There is no such, praise God, a medical operation that can change you to a male if you are a payment. But in the world today, it is possible. Yes, it's possible yeah. that your organs can be changed. Yeah. But in the sight of God, yeah. you are who you are. Yeah. But in the Bible, praise God, before this thing that is happening right now, it is already recorded. Look at me on the screen. Don't look at me on the screen. <laughs> who changed the truth of God into a lie. He tried to change the truth of God into a lie. And they invest a lot of money in media, praise God, in uh, information campaign to change the truth of God into a lie. Worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Amen. Verse 26. What did the Bible say? For this cause, God gave them up into vile affections. For even their women, address to the women first, okay? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. The nature tells us that women shall have long hair, but they change it. Well, they're going to change it. For this cause, verse Verse 27. And likewise also the men. Men. Likewise also the men. Living the natural use of a woman. Hindi na woman ang kanilang nililigawan kapwa lalaki na. Burn in their lust one toward another. Naghahalik ang puro lalaki na. Ano ba nangyari sa mundo ito? Men with men. Look. It is already recorded in the scripture. Amen. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Hindi naman talaga dapat. Yes. And receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was men. Next verse. Hallelujah. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. They don't want this thing. I don't yes. want to retain in my mind about the knowledge of God. They know, hallelujah, that during their day off, it is good to come to the church. Hallelujah. But they don't want to retain that knowledge. Oh, yeah. That God knowledge into their mind. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know, amazing grace, God's not dead. But they don't want to retain it in their mind. I know there is that, Pastor Plaza. Actually, I have a Bible. But I don't know where it is it's now. Praise God. <laughs> God gave them over to a reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient. 29. Hallelujah. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Fornication. What is fornication? Sex before marriage. Wala pang kasal. Nag. Cast advance na. Kahit walang deposit. Wickedness. Covetousness. The love of money. Maliciousness. Puro lang post. Patama para lang ma- Slander ang isang kapwa Pilipina or OFW. Full of envy. Grabe ang ingit. Murder. 
Debate. Nakipag-debate pa lagi. Deceit. Malignity. Whisperers. Whisperers. Baka meron yan dito. Backbiters. Haters of God. Despiteful. Proud. Boasters. Inventors of evil things. Magaling mag-invento ng masama. Masira ka lang. Disobedient to parents. 31. Marami pa po. Without understanding. Bakit? Hindi na discipleship. Without understanding. What else? Covenant breakers. Ano yung covenant? What is covenant breakers, Pastor Pasa? You vow in marriage. Till death do us part. Do you know this? In sickness and in health, I do. Grabe ang I do. Ang dami ang I do. But they break their covenant. Bakit? Nakapaguntis na diba? Without natural affection. Implacable. Unmerciful. Last verse. Who, knowing the judgment of God, they know that there is judgment. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but the pleasure in them that do them. They enjoy with it. Even they knew that there is a judgment coming from God. Amen. Where did it begin? Because they tried to change the truth of God into a lie. So never try. Study the word of God. So that we may not become a victim of our own aspirations and understanding to change the truth of God into a lie. If there is bitterness in your heart, forgive that person. Release your bitterness. Because that's what the Bible said. That's the truth. Everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Do you know that in the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, we were asking, how will God judge us? Is it based on our attendance? No. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible said. In Romans chapter 2 verse 2. Romans chapter 2 verse 2. Can we read it? But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. See, nakita niyo mga kapatid? Praise God. We are sure. So, if you're asking me right now, Pastor, what is the basis of our judgment when God will come? When we are going to stand in front of the judgment set of Christ, what's the basis? The Bible said, but we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. So, if I will live in a lie, I will be judged according to the truth that I know. Praise God. According to the word of God. Because the word of God is the truth. Yeah. Clap your hands and do the word. <laughs> so what should we do? Praise God. In 1 Corinthians. Hallelujah. Chapter 13. Verse 6. That we must rejoice in the truth. I said. Rejoicing in truth. Rejoice not in iniquity. But rejoice it in the truth. Pagkulang ang budget, mga kapatid, yun na po ang katotohanan. Dapat masaya ka. Yan na po talaga yung totoo. Hello? Because that's the truth. It's your day up, come to the church, that's the truth. Worship God, that's the truth. You, you must rejoice in the truth. Hallelujah. A 
according to Harry Frankfurt, as I continue to read his writings, I think that those so careless with their bullying, destruction, ignorance, power, naked pursuit of self-interest, just don't realize or care about the fragility of biological and cultural life. We live within a thin blue line that separates us from the unimaginably cold and dark emptiness of space. Our atmosphere, our climate, our ecosystem support life only if we support them. That's their theory. Culture too is extraordinarily fragile. It took thousands of years to achieve, but we can destroy it in an instant. If World War III, praise God, begins, and it would be in nuclear war, and all the nuclear warheads, praise God, will explode in the face of the earth. Amen. What will happen to the lives? Of the people. Do you think biologically they can survive? Imagine living in a post-apocalyptic world. A world in which we have to reinvent physics. There's no more people. All the teachers died. All the books are burned. All electronics, all the electricity, all inventions are burned. And in the face of the earth, this is his question. A world in which we have to reinvent physics, mathematics, chemistry, computer science. Where would we have to have a uh, reconquer fire? Who will reinvent the wheel? Rediscover electricity? Where we want to reconstruct atomic, uh, atomic, relatively evolutionary, gravitational, and quantum theories? A world without engineering, a world without dentistry, a world without medicine, without art, without literature or music. Think really hard about all that. Thomas Hobbes described such a state of nature like this. No arts, no litter, no society, which is worst of all, continual fear, the danger of violent death, and the life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. But I will tell you the truth. This is just only their, praise God, their, their exercises of their knowledge and research. But the Bible tells us, hallelujah, when Jesus Christ will come, hallelujah, into this world, he will be, hallelujah, a king forever. He will sit a thousand years. A peace on earth. So the world is preaching. If there will be a world war, thing, if there will be a nuclear, praise God, war in this world, where could we live? Hallelujah, it's very far from the truth. Because the truth said, hallelujah, in the Bible, when the trumpet will sound, hallelujah, he will get the church. He will have, he will have a rapture into the air. And Jesus will set up his kingdom in Jerusalem for a thousand years with peace. Children can play the Bible. Children can sleep, praise God, where the lions can sleep. All the wild beasts in the field, praise God, hallelujah, can be tamed when Jesus Christ will rule for a thousand years. I will tell you the truth, hallelujah, the truth will set you free. We have nothing to fear or worry. We cannot predict the future. But we can stick to the word of God and we know the future because he holds the future. You don't know when your contract will end. You have no idea if your employer will recontract you or not. Yeah. You have no idea, praise God, when you come back to your employer's house, if they will tell you, pack up your things and go back to Philippines. We, you cannot assure that, hallelujah. But there's one thing that we can assure, the truth. The truth is in Jesus. Because we can I go in Hong Kong or in the Philippines, in Europe or in North America, as long as there is Jesus in my heart. going to personify truth. It's Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. He promised to those who believe that they will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. He said that when you are baptized, you are doing all the righteousness of God. And in the eyes of God, hallelujah, you become a new creature. All things has passed away. Behold, new things are become new. Hallelujah. That's the truth. Amen. When you repent of your sins and you, 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 you decide, hallelujah, to turn back to God and worship him. Hallelujah. Repentance, Acts chapter 3, verse 19 and 21. The Bible tells us, hallelujah, that there will be a time of repression that will come before you. Hallelujah. How did the world try to change the truth of God into a lie? Psalms 115. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalms 100. And this will be my last verses. Hallelujah. Psalms 115, verse 1. 
up to verse 8. I will share to you this line by line. How the writer of the song described concerning the God that we serve. David said, Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for what? For thy truth's sake. Why we don't worship people? Why we don't worship a pastor? Why we don't worship a bishop? Why we don't worship, praise God, hallelujah. Amen. David said, not unto us. I'm a king. I'm a valiant war, warrior. I, 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 I'm a wisdom king in Israel. But he said, not unto me, Lord. Not unto me. But unto thy name, people will give glory. Not my name, David. But unto thy name. For thy mercy. And what else? For thy truth. Say. church because you know the truth. Yeah. What did he say in verse 2? Hallelujah. Wherefore should the hidden, verse 2 again. Wherefore should the hidden, the pagan, the unbelievers, hallelujah, wherefore should the hidden say, where is now my God? So, if outside of Israel are what we call the heathen, the Gentile nations, and the Gentile nations are now taunting Israel, oh, where is now your God? Yeah. There is a question all around the world, especially for the Christians, what happened on October 7 in South Israel, when the Hamas praised that invaded and killed children, burned children, and killed women and children. And the questions around the world is, where was the God of Israel? Is the God of Israel sleeping? No. Hallelujah. So there, were, there is their, this is their taunt. They were taunting and mocking. Hallelujah. The Jews who believe in the one true God. Where should, wherefore should a hidden say, where is now their God? And David was saying, so that I can answer their mocking and taunting, I will praise thy name. Yes. If they are throwing stones to me, where is your God? Where is your God? The devil, hallelujah, will throw so many problems and triumphs into your life. He will throw so that you will destroy. And if you're going to face the devil, you are going to throw again but the stone. You have no time to worship and recognize the power of God. When you are not going to be able to use the stone, Praise God, ipagawa sa bahay mo. <laughs> Make that stone to be a, your stepping stone to go up higher. Pag chismis ka, wag mo na lang siya lang i-chismis. Pabayaan. If they are mocking you because of your holiness, if they are mocking you because of your faith, and then they will ask, where is your God? Na termine ka? Where is your God? You have no salary increase. Where is your God? Don't listen to the mockings and the conquests. Where is your God? Nag-60 ka na ba ng boyfriend? Don't listen to them, Sister Carlin. Don't listen. Where is now their God? Where the answer of David? Verse 3. Look at what, what David said in verse 3. Hallelujah. But our God is in the heavens. So if somebody will ask you, where is your God? You just answer according to the scripture, in the heaven. How about in the New Testament? In my heart. That's the only clear answer based on the scripture. Where is your God? In the heavens. And since we are now in the New Testament, He is inside my heart. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. No one can 
stop God. If he's going to bless you, no power in hell can stop you. How do you remember the story of Balaam? Praise God. Hallelujah. Who was that king? Praise God. Uh, the king Balak, praise God, hallelujah, was asking Balaam to, you know, curse Israel. And Balaam said, okay, I cannot, you know, praise God, go against the word of God. What God tells me, I will tell you. And Balak gives him a lot of gifts and over. Just curse me, Israel. And God said to Balaam, Balaam, you cannot curse the people that I bless. Yes. Praise God. So when God will bless you, nobody can turn it into a curse. Did you hear me? When God blesses you, nobody can overturn the blessing. So are you blessed? Yes, hallelujah. And that is the truth. And sometimes, when we have trials and problems, praise God, we are, you know, self-pity, we are sucking our tongue, praise God, somewhere in the corner of our boarding house. And you look like a, you know, one-year-old baby and crying. What happened to me? Why? Why? Why this problem came to me? Oh, you must remember, I'm going to remind you, hallelujah, to look at the truth and to declare the truth. I'm a child of God. I'm the redeemed. My God is blessed. Hallelujah. He will always be with me. Everybody say, praise the Lord. God can do whatever He please. Yes. Yeah. If God will send you to Europe, fine. Yes. If God will send you back home, fine. Because He can do whatever He please. silver and gold. The work of men's hands. That's their God. Their God are silver and gold. Our God is not money. We need money. Yeah, we need money. But that is not our God. But David told the, the, the hidden, their idols, they are asking, where is your God, David? Our God is in heaven. But your God, I, I, idols and, and gold made with a man's hand. Verse 5, this is the description of their God. They have mouths, but they speak not. What else? Eyes have they, but they see not. May mata, pero nila nakakita. Verse 6, bilisan natin na ikat. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. May ilong. Ang ganda pa nga ng ilong nila, mga batin. But it smell not. Verse 7, they have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Kaya kinakarga na lang sa balikan. Bakit hindi makalaka ng Diyos nila? Neither speak they their truth. Verse 8. They that make them. Huh, this is a warning from David. Yes. They that make them are light unto them. So is everyone that trusts them in him. Pag nilagay mo ang Diyos, Diyos at mga kapatid sa altar mo, sa pintuan, sa backyard, kahit saan mo nilagay. At pagdating mo mga kapatid, naglalagay ka ng bulaklak na gumamila. Praise God. Oh, sometime, praise God. Ano pa mga bulaklak? Do not put your trust into the hallelujah idols that made with hands. But our God is in heaven! Praise God! Our God is in heaven! Praise God! Hallelujah! So what did the Bible say in this, in this conclusion? I will tell you with all of your might, by the truth. Yes, and yes. This is the only command in the Bible that you need to buy the truth. But don't sell the truth. Yes. You can share the truth, yes. but you cannot sell the truth. Yes. You cannot barter the truth. Hallelujah. Yes. Look at praise God. Hallelujah. The example in the Bible. Praise God. Jacob and Esau. Esau was so hungry. Praise God. And Esau said to his brother Jacob, Can I sell my birthright to you today? Just give me 
a cup of morsel. Just give me. Hallelujah. What we call in Chinese? Lilugao? Ponji. Just imagine. I'm hungry. I'm dying. Just give me one bowl of congee. I will sell to you my birthright. And Jacob said, can you share? Can you uh, swear in the name of the Lord of Israel? Yeah, I will swear. What's the use of my birthright if I'm going to die with this hunger? Just one meal, you will die. Praise God. So Esau sell his birthright. And you know what happened at the end? Even he cried with tears. He was not able to get back his birthright for a double portion of the blessing. Yes. That is why the book of Hebrews tells us, be careful. Because we are the one who hold the gift of salvation that God has given to us. Right. Don't sell it to the world. Yes. Don't compromise. Hallelujah. Salvation in your hands. What's the truth? It's the truth. Mahinit kasi sa Pilipinas, Pastor, kaya magsaliko na lang ako magmarcha-marcha dyan sa aming merkado. Do not sell the truth. Yes. You buy the truth according to the scripture, sell it now. Yes. Kung uwi ka sa Pilipinas, dati mga barkada, mga lasinggiro, drogista, praise God, you know already the truth. Yes. I will not destroy my body. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I cannot sell this truth. I cannot put a mark or tattoo on my skin because it is against the will of God. Hindi ka pwedeng maglagay ng tattoo sa iyong katawan. But what is the trend now in the world? Grabe, tattoo dito, tattoo doon, mga kapatid. God said, don't do that! Yeah. Yeah. Ipastor, ngayon ko lang nalaman na patatay. Diyan na yan, mabaya na yan. Patawagin ka pa rin. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh. Kasi ginawa mo yun out of ignorance. Yes. Out of praise the without the knowledge. And God will forgive us. Yes, kahit tatuan mo pa buong katawan mo yung mga galing sa mundi lupa. Those uh, ex-convict in Monte Lupa, from head down to the sole of their feet, they have lots of tattoo. Praise God, but they were being baptized in the prison cell. Hallelujah. Asking forgiveness because the Lord has given them the truth. Hallelujah. So they will go to heaven, Pastor. Of course. They will go to heaven. Praise God. Because it's about the truth. It's your buying the truth, receiving the truth, consuming the truth, living in the truth. Truth matters. Amen. As I said, truth matters. We should not rejoice in iniquity, but we must rejoice in the truth. Praise if you are not yet baptized in the name of Jesus, God, get baptized today in the name of Jesus. Because that's the truth. Hallelujah. Those who are being baptized in the name of Jesus, their names are being written in the book of life. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise if you are already not baptized in the water in the name of Jesus, praise God, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because that's the truth. Yeah. And you will speak in tongues as the Spirit will give you the utterance and that's the truth. Yeah. When you start to serve the Lord, there will be trials and problems, but the truth is you will become overcomer and victorious at the end. this afternoon. What should I do, Pastor Plaza? Let's worship the God of truth. Amen. When we open our mouth that comes from our heart, asking forgiveness, the truth is, He will forgive. Yes. When we worship Him and we lift up His name, the truth is, His Spirit will come down and you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If you are suffering right now, hallelujah, with pain in your body, or there is something wrong, praise God, or something painful in your body, hallelujah, you can touch that part of your body while your other hands is lifting. As we are going to pray, hallelujah, the truth is, if you ask God, hallelujah, and believe in the power of His resurrection, you will receive healing in your body. Is that the truth? That's the truth. And I see it in my eye. So many miracles happen in this altar. The truth is, God can change our life. God can bless our lives. He can turn, hallelujah, praise God, the world upside down to you, praise God, if we will just give our life unto Jesus. Shall we stand together? Truth matters. We don't want to tell a lie. We preach the truth. We live in the truth. 
Hallelujah. The truth is very challenging. Yes, it's hard. It's painful. But that's the truth, sisters of me. That's the truth. So when the trumpet will sound and the earth, hallelujah, will quake and the power of His coming. Do you know in the book of Revelation, when God, praise God, hallelujah, will come, the earth will tremble. Yes. Islands, praise God, will be gone. Yes. Kaano kalakas ang libdol na yan? Nasa intensity 10 na siguro kung ang lahat ng mga isla ay mawala. People, praise God, will faint. People will be shocked and people will be in fear. Those people who live not in the truth. But the people who live in the truth. Hallelujah. They will lift, just lift up their hands happily. And their body, praise God, will rise. Hallelujah. From the, from the, from the ground. Hallelujah. As the gravity cannot hold them anymore. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And we will meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. Hallelujah praise God. And that is the truth. He will come. Hallelujah. To save us. He will come. Praise God. To save the church. But while we are waiting for the coming of the Lord, will you surrender your life to Him and say, Lord, I know now the truth that I need to surrender my life, that I need to repent of my sins. Hallelujah. As I am standing in this holy ground, in this place, Lord God, I know that if I'm going to start worshiping you, I will receive the Holy Spirit. If I'm going to start believing you, I will receive my healing. If I will start believing you and worshiping you, God, I will receive to start uh, receive start receiving the answer. But the question is, do you have the faith to believe the truth? Do you have the faith, praise God, in your heart to believe what the truth is saying? Jesus said, for where two or three that gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Jesus right now, hallelujah, is here in our midst. We will not try to change the, the truth of God into a lie. But what we should do is to surrender Listen to me one more time. Worship is not lifting hands. Worship is not singing. Worship is obedience. Hallelujah. When you obey God, you worship Him. Hallelujah. In this moment, praise God, we are lifting our hands as a sign of surrender and a sign of reverence to God. But the moment you open your heart, the moment you open your mouth, hallelujah, truth matters that when you say, hallelujah, Jesus, your whole Pwede ba natin itaas ang ating mga kamay? Manalangin ako mga kapatid na isang panalangin sa bayan niyo ako. Nasa katotohanan ba ang buhay mo? Namuhay ka ba sa katotohanan? O meron pang kasing manungaling ang parte sa iyong buhay? Bakit hindi mo yan isuko sa mga oras na ito? In the name of the Lord Jesus, Patawarin mo kami, Panginoon. Forgive us, God, of our sins. We present ourselves, Lord, in this place because we need you. We ask your mercy and grace. Overflow. Forgive me, God, of my sins. Forgive me, God, of my fault. Hallelujah, Lord God, this afternoon. Hallelujah, we want to receive your power. We want to receive your approval. Hallelujah, we want to receive your blessing. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Kung tapos ka nang nag-confess na Diyos, kung tapos ka nang humingi ng kapatawalan sa Panginoon, umpisahan mo kay Koy, umpisahan mong sumigaw na itawas ang pangalan ng Jesus galing sa iyong puso at sa pangalan ng Jesus receive it! The Holy Ghost! Wag kang mahiyang magpuri, wag kang mahiyang umiyak Shy, opening your mouth and calling. 
Jesus, mighty name we pray, everybody shall amen. Yeah. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Yeah. 